Hi everybody, my name is Erin Camerata and I'm here with my partner Ken Cornell from Boston. I was diagnosed with MS 13 years ago and um, I, prior to coming to NSI or prior to discovering NSI, I had um, the effects of MS. My, my diagnosis went from relapse remitting to secondary progressive and my, was, I was progressively getting worse. I was having a difficult time holding anything in my hands. Uh, couldn't um, carry a pot yeah, off the stove I without dropping it. I couldn't pick dog a pot. Water dish. I had to hold my husband's hand every time I went um, when I was walking. Uh, mm. Your ankles were always spraining because the muscles weren't strong down there. Numbness in your hands. Yeah. Every I, morning. I couldn't. For I, years. I couldn't move until I was up for 45 minutes because um, my body was had to get acclimated. I came to NSI, um, went through the procedure, was anxious or very um, uncertain about it. Four days post-op of NSI, uh, post my procedure, I was a different person. I couldn't stop talking. I couldn't stop. Um, I was just so excited. Ken just quoted me on the way here to my second treatment. He said, um, I didn't realize how sick I was until I felt this good. And so that's what I, that's what I said when I left NSI the, after four days after this procedure. So super excited, super grateful for NSI, super grateful for the option to do the stem cell and also grateful for the fact that, um, you know, we have, we have this available to us. These are wow results. The best results we could expect before from, you know, typical, you know, when she first got diagnosed, it was two years of rebif and then Copaxone and then there was Obagio and all these disease modifying drugs. And even at best, then we went to Sabri, even at best, all these drugs could, you know, promise like a 30% slowing down of the progression of the disease. Nothing ever made her feel better, made her feel stronger, like she had, the, the, the disease was getting better. So, that stem yeah. cell was like magic. And I left here and I was, I never wanted to talk about my MS because I was like, oh, it's fine, it's fine. I left here and I couldn't stop talking about it because I was just felt so darn good. And I'm, I'm very grateful for NSI and what it did for my livelihood with living with this disease. Yeah. So thank you.